With so many end-of-the-world predictions, what did the ancient Maya really believe? I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Dr. Loa Traxler of the Penn Museum. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. You have a new exhibit all about ancient Maya, but talk to us a little bit about the end-of-the-world predictions. There's been a blockbuster movie. Ancient world end-of-the-world predictions have been used in advertisements. But what's the real story about the ancient Maya calendar? Well, we're very excited this year, 2012, is a highlight year for Maya culture because the long count calendar that was developed by the ancient Maya will come to a completion date in December of 2012. And so many different aspects of pop culture and media have focused on this upcoming date as a time when so many things may happen, cataclysms and world-changing events, magnetic pole reversals and all sorts of ideas. But in fact, these are things that North American culture brings to the table. For the ancient Maya, it was a completion of an amazing calendar event and the beginning of a new cycle. So it was a time of celebration instead of great uh, premonition. Now, this is something you actually explore in this exhibit, but you also explore many other things. Talk to us a little bit about this exhibit and what it actually brings to the table and what we'll learn about the ancient Maya culture. So the exhibition at the Penn Museum, which is called Maya 2012, actually brings people into an experience and engagement with Maya culture, both from the idea of contemporary 2012, but into the ancient past and follows the story up to contemporary Maya today. So we are hoping that the visitor will have a chance to see where these ideas of the Maya calendar come from, to understand more about the ancient civilization of the Americas, of the Maya, and to see how this resilient people, their culture continues to the present day. So we have an amazing story to tell, and uh, we've been able to bring beautiful archaeological material from the Maya world here to Philadelphia for everyone to enjoy. And let's get into some of the specifics, because you've actually gone to the sites, uh, to Copan, you've excavated there yourself. Give us an idea as to what it's actually like to go to these sites. Well, as an archaeologist and a curator for the exhibition, I'm really quite excited to be able to show the work that the Penn Museum has done for many, many years. Archaeology has a chance to really show what remains from the ancient past. And from the site of Copan, we have a chance to really tell the story about the royal dynasty of this kingdom from the classic era. So the exhibition introduces you to some of these historical figures from the ancient past. We have parts of the excavation that really have uncovered and defined the biographies of the kings of the Copan dynasty, including the founder of the royal dynasty, who was buried in a chamber excavated by the Penn Museum. So the exhibition includes beautiful artifacts, fine works of art, amazing monumental sculpture from the Maya area, as well as the story of who these people were and how their legacy continues to the contemporary day. And we'll learn all about how this legacy continues today and that the Maya people still exist. Absolutely. So many people think that the Maya disappeared after the entry and conquest by Europeans. But in fact, throughout the Americas, there are millions of Mayan speakers today. We have in the United States, in fact, many communities of Maya people. And for the Maya, 2012 is a time of great uh, excitement, and it's an opportunity to really present their cultural heritage to a world that's keenly aware that 2012 is something momentous. But for the Maya, it's really it's like our celebration of the turn of the millennium. It's an opening of a new time, a new era, and they look forward to the future. And this is an exhibit that actually runs through January, so we have an opportunity to go to the Penn Museum. Why is this an important story to tell? We just have a few seconds left. It's a fabulous American story. So the Maya people were an important part of our world in the Americas, and since you can come and see the exhibit clear through January, there's no worry about the end of the world. Thanks for being with us. Fabulous. We've been talking with Dr. Loa Traxler. I'm Jill Horner.